What's up, family? We're getting ready to season up our meats for Sunday dinner. So tomorrow I'll be doing a brown stew pork. I bought a whole pork shoulder and I just had um, the meat department cut it up into little pieces for me. So I'll be doing that. Um, and then I'm also doing some smothered chicken, not brown stew chicken, but smothered chicken. Hubby wanted some smothered chicken. So I've never cooked smothered chicken, but, um, yeah, when you know how to cook, it's not too, too hard. So I'll be doing that. Um, but let's get into seasoning this, um, meat for tomorrow. Okay. That's what they're going to eat off for, for the whole week. That's it. All right, so here I have my my pork. This is what they cut up for me, um, and I washed it. I washed it with some um, some uh, lemon juice and some vinegar. So I'm gonna season that up. And then here I have the chicken that I've um, cleaned up. I left the skin on it. It's thighs and legs. Okay, so I did get some thighs. I have some leg quarters, and I just cut the legs off of those. So I do have um, these pieces in it also. So let's get into seasoning this meat, okay? So I want to season the pork first. And you don't even have to pre-season this the way I'm doing it. Um, you can season it before you cook it and just let it sit for 30 minutes to an hour to, you know, marinate. But this is just how I was raised, so let's let let's let's do it. So we're gonna let's put the chicken over here because we're gonna go on and um we're gonna do this pork first. Y'all hear my dog over there squeaking? I swear. Squeak, squeak, squeak. I have all kind of seasonings um over here, but there's like a, a batch for the chicken and a batch specifically for the pork. Alright. So I rinse my gloves off. And I have my green onion that I washed already. And then it, this is four pieces of green onion, okay? Four stalks of green onion. This is going to go in the, in the pork. You just want to cut up your, your green onions. I'm going to get it in there. It's, it's, it's a lot of pork. I think I'm going to end up freezing half. And then, of course, I have my scotch bonnet from my tree. I keep these in my freezer. This one is fresh. Mm, it smells so good off the tree. So I'm going to use this one. And when it comes to pork, you can never have too much, too much pepper. And I'm going to try not to put too much um, so they can enjoy the food. All right, so that's a whole scotch bonnet, seeds included. So we're not going to put this one. And then now we're going to go in with this regular onion. I'm just going to slice it. No need to dice it, okay? And I think for right now, I'm just going to put one because we're going to add more of the vegetables Um later on like you know when it's cooking when it's almost done cooking we're gonna add more vegetables i want to wipe off this cutting board because that onion is that uh yellow onion is strong it's burning my eye okay so now i i've washed all my bell peppers i have a whole pan of bell peppers over there all different colors so i washed them and I think I'm going to put a little more than a half of each. And then I'm going to save this to go in it tomorrow. Okay. Then I also have here some sofrito. And this is my homemade sofrito. Um, I'm, I think I'm going to post a video of how I do it. Um, and everything that I'm putting, you have me, that I'm putting in there, it's in here. Okay, everything, including the culantro and the cilantro. Okay, so put it in there. That goes good in pork. 
Okay. Use this for my garbage. If you don't have the the sofrito, just skip it. You don't need it. I like it in there though. It gives it this very good flavor. Okay. So I have that. And then over here I have my fresh herbs and stuff that I washed. I had them drying before I put them in the fridge. And so I'm going to put this much um, uh, thyme. Okay, that's thyme. And then you don't want to dice your peppers. You want to cut them. Okay, so I'm not dicing. I'm just cutting them. In semi-long strip. Not all the way long, but semi. That's why I keep turning the pepper. Every time I, I'm, I cut, I turn Now we're going to add some fresh garlic, okay? So I have freshly minced garlic that I minced myself. And this is maybe like a tablespoon, okay, in there. All right. So I'm going to move the board because um, that's all the cutting up for now. We're, we're getting ready to add the, the seasoning, okay? So let's move the board so we can bring this meat forward okay all right and that's what she's looking like right there okay now first thing first is i'm going to take off one of these gloves and then i'm going in with a little bit of jerk seasoning okay and the reason why I like, I'm putting a little bit is because it has a little bit of allspice in it, okay? And it's going to give me that flavor I'm looking for in the pork, okay? So we put that. Then, of course, I'm going to put a little bit of paprika. Just regular paprika. This is not smoked paprika, okay? And that's maybe like a tablespoon and a half. Okay. And then over here we have some some um, onion powder, okay? This is onion powder. And this is probably like two tablespoons because this is small, okay? Then we have some garlic salt, and we're going to do the same because this is where we're going to get our salt from, okay? You can always add salt, but you can't take it away. I have a little bit of slap your mama in here, so I'm just going to go ahead and empty it in there. And then I'm going to go ahead and put a little more, okay? So this is the other one. Okay. We got some black pepper. Okay. Season to your liking. And then, of course, y'all know my little bit of MSG for flavor. You don't need too much. And we're going to put some of this um, season up in there also. What's up, babe? I'll be over there in the back, y'all. Okay, so this is Maggie season up, which is basically all-purpose all purpose seasoning. Okay, we're just going to put a lot. This has salt in it, so, you know, be careful. You can put this in, in anything. All right. We're going to stop there because we don't want to overdo the salt. And then we have some whole allspice. Or you can, we, I, we call them pimento seeds. I keep them in this container. So I'm going to put a little in that. Okay. Put a few in and then we're going to put some garlic powder. Okay, then we're going to put some, a little bit of, um, a little bit of, um, where's my olive oil? A little bit of olive oil. 
because that all that seasoning has power it's powdery so this is just to help everything to to blend well in it okay and and that's it you don't need to put anything else in here um i'm gonna put a little brown in just a little bit okay i'm gonna put a little bit of brown in it's like a, a teaspoon now we're gonna put some some um, more gloves on okay and then we're gonna blend this up mix this up let me rinse off this glove hold on all right so let's mix up this pork it's a lot of pork This, this smell like it could take a little more scotch bonnet, but I'm not going to put it in yet. I can always put that in later, and I'm cooking it if it needs it. This bad boy is ready to go in the fridge until tomorrow. We can start cooking this bad boy tomorrow. This is what she's looking like. All right, season it to your liking, but well seasoned, okay? Well seasoned. All right, so we're going to put this over here and bring the chicken over. And this is our chicken. So now we're going to work on the chicken, okay? All right, so let me put that over here. And then we're going to bring back the cutting board, okay? All right, so for the chicken, you won't need the onions. Not yet. You won't need none of that stuff chicken i'm just gonna use the board to cut me up a little bit of this scotch bonnet okay just a little bit okay and you don't need to add no onions and no nothing to it yet okay i am gonna add a little bit of garlic paste that i made okay that's about a teaspoon, a nice big teaspoon, okay? And you're going to need a little bit of oil, so we're going to put a little bit of olive oil. And that's just going to help the seasoning um, to stick to the, to the chicken, okay? So with this chicken, we're going to put some, some of this Maggie, okay? We're going to put some of this. This, these holes too small for me, okay? Don't nobody have time for that, okay? So we're going to put some of this Maggie. All right. Okay. We're going to put a little slap your mama. Okay? We're not going to put no paprika. We're going to put a little bit of Cajun seasoning. Okay? This is red enough, okay? That's why I'm not putting no paprika. Okay? I'm putting a little bit of Italian seasoning. And then this is um roasted garlic and herb Weber's. Okay. Putting a generous amount of that. Yes. Might as well just finish it. Okay. And then I like this. I get this from Marshall's. It's kicking chicken. Even if you're roasting chicken, it tastes good on there, okay? Now, I may need, oh, okay. I was going to say I may need hubby to open it up. Be careful, it's salty. So I'm putting some on here, okay? And then, of course, we got our black pepper. Let me put a little more black pepper. And we got our garlic salt. Okay, this is garlic salt. Okay, we got some onion powder. This is onion powder. Okay. And 
and then a little bit of flavoring and then we're going to put some garlic powder all right that's it we don't need to put nothing else if anything maybe a little bit more of this but we'll see let's mix her up first okay let me get these gloves on i'll mix this up What you're looking for when you mix it up is you want to see that every piece of chicken has seasoning on it and I'm looking at it right now and I can tell you right now it's gonna need a little more seasoning okay mm -hmm. make sure you get all under the skin Try to get the seasoning all up under there, okay? You want to get the seasoning all up in it. This is how it's looking. Me, personally, it needs a little bit more, okay? All right. So I'm going to have to take this glove off. That's what I really want in there. And then I'm going to put a little bit more of this olive oil. Give me the slippage, slippage I'm looking for. Okay. I'm going to try to work it with this one hand. <laughs> Y'all. Now, brown stew chicken, we would have added the onions, all, the bell peppers, all that good stuff, and browning. Okay, so that's what she's looking like right now. That's what, that's what it's looking like now. All right, y'all. So I'm going to cover these both and they're going to go in the fridge. Okay. And then um, I'll see y'all Sunday. Okay. All right, guys. Good morning, family. Okay, so it is Sunday morning. I'm starting out a little late this morning. But it's after 12. Usually I'm in the kitchen cooking by 10 o'clock in the morning. But. Um, had a rough start to the morning, but I have my pot here. Um, this is my um, cast iron pot, and I'm going to start rendering. You know the meat we seasoned yesterday. I'm going to start um, putting the pork in there. It's the chicken. Running the pork. I'm going to start putting the, chicken, the uh, pork in there. I just want to brown it off a little bit. Um, kind of like render off some of that that fat that's on it you want to try to get some of it out I don't have any grease in the pot so um, I'm going to try not to put any grease in there which means I'm going to start to put well let me put a little bit so it won't stick because I know it's going to probably try to stick so I'm going to put a little bit so it won't stick. This is um, just a little bit of olive oil. Um, and then I'm just going to move it around in the pot. Just a little bit. Okay. All right. So let's start putting our meat in. And we're not going to put any of the veggies in there that we season it with. We want to put just the meat in. Still of the night, I think of you. My heart beats with every thought of you. You're the one I can't let go in your arms. I find my home, love, sweet love. It's you I'm dreaming of every moment with you. Feels like a gift from above Forever and always You're the one I adore In your love I find my forevermore Find my forevermore The more Through every storm In my guiding light In your eyes I see the stars I'm whole with you, I'm complete In your love my heart finds its beat 
love, sweet love, it's you I'm dreaming of Every moment with you feels like a gift from above Forever and always you're the one I adore In your love I find my forevermore In your arms I feel alive with you I soar and thrive A love story written in the skies In your love my spirit flies Love, sweet love, it's you I'm dreaming of Every moment with you feels like a gift from above I'm trying not to put the onion and stuff that I seasoned it with yesterday so be able to break it apart Okay, so we're going to save all this goodness to go in there before we put it in the oven Alright So, this is what our pot let me see if I can get y'all closer. Okay, so this is what our pot is looking like. It's a lot of meat. I'm going to try to stir it to see how it's getting there. That little brown, getting brown. That's what we want. So I'm stirring it up. You see that? This stove, if it even detects a little bit of um water on it, it turns it, itself off. It, it get on my last nerve. If it even detects a little bit of water, it turns itself off. All right, y'all. So this has been cooking on top of the stove. And it, it gathered its water. and So now I'm getting ready to... To actually add water to it and then put all the veggies back in it and put it in the oven okay so this is what it's looking like okay that's what it's looking like right there so we're gonna add the carrots and all the onion and stuff that we seasoned it in we add in everything in, and then we're going to put some water in, and then we're going to cover this up and put it in the oven. And then we got our water. All right. So now I'm going to put it in the oven, y'all. We're going to put this on because we're going to get our chicken started. All right, so we're going to sear off the chicken because we're making smothered chicken. So we're going to sear off the chicken a little bit. So some olive oil. I'm going to turn this stove down because I just want a little sear on the chicken. So we're going to turn it down. I took out the first batch. That's what it's looking like. Okay. You don't want to fry them hard. You just want to get a little bit of color on them. Oh, I have a few more. Yeah, I know, right? I have a few more. <laughs> a few more bats to go. So we're gonna. Um, I'm gonna do that, and then I'll be back to get the gravy started, okay? All right, y'all, so I seared the chicken off, and that is what the chicken is looking like, seared off the whole pan. So now we're going to get the roux going on the stove, okay? So this pot is still hot, so I'm going to put in some, some green onions. And I'm putting in some regular onion. Okay. Over there I'm putting in. I put some green onion and some regular onion. And then I'm just going to put a little bit of 
the pepper, the rest of the bell peppers, I'm gonna put in here. So I'm putting red, green, and I'm also gonna put um, orange. And a little more green onion. So this is the same pot that I cooked the uh, that I shared the chicken off in. This is the same pot that I shared the chicken off in. Okay. Flour. Oh. This might need a little more flour. Turn that down some. I'm gonna put just a little more flour. I'm making the roux. And I'm, I'm going to use this store-bought stock because I'm saving my stock, homemade stock for Thanksgiving. So... And I should have put the butter in earlier. Half a stick of butter. Start adding this. this uh, add a little at first so you can work this dough. So you want to add enough to where it don't lump up on you, okay? I'm using this with. I'll turn it down some more. It's nice and thick. Okay. All right, so this is all the the stuff from the chicken. That's the bowl the chicken was in. Seasoning without salt because I'm going to put some uh, chicken bouillon. So that was some garlic powder, some onion powder, I should say. And I'm going to put some, a little bit of garlic powder. Okay, just a little bit. Alright, I got, I got some fresh thyme that I'm putting in the pan with the chicken, okay? And I have this stove turned all the way down because I need to add, I need to add my, don't forget your cream of chicken. So we're going to add this, this is cream of chicken, and then I have a cream of chicken and herbs, okay? And that's why I haven't put anything with salt in there yet because 
I knew I would be adding these. Okay, so this is cream of chicken and herbs. Cream of chicken and herbs. And I'm going to mix this up without making a mess. Should have put it in a bigger pot, but. Mm -hmm. All right. See, that's the chicken here. So now, let me turn off the stove. And then we're going to pour this. All over our chicken. Get it on there. All right. We're going to cover it and get it in the oven. Okay. Okay. That's what it's looking like. And we're gonna get it in the oven. I have the oven on 400. So we're gonna bake it until the chicken is cooked. All right, y'all, you know I love me some cabbage, so we're gonna do a mixture of cabbage and collard greens. So I don't have any smoked meat, so what I did was seared off some bacon. Okay. I browned some bacon. And then I have a little bit of cabbage that I got out of my garden. Okay. And that's what I'm going to be using. So I'm using the bacon fat from the bacon that I seared off. So I'm going to put some, some onions and stuff in there that I cut up. So that was some green onions and some yellow onions. Putting that in the pot. And I have some bell peppers. But I'm going to put the bell pepper in later. Not right now. Okay. Mm. <laughs> That's the bacon. And then I have some garlic powder. And put me a little bit of bouillon, chicken bouillon in there. We're going to put some onion powder in there. And we're going to have to add more, um, more seasoning to this pot. But for now, we're going to start cooking the, the little bit of collard green. I'm putting, cooking some collard greens out of my garden just a little bit. That's all I got out of my garden, so I'm mixing it with um just some garlic salt. I'm mixing it with uh I'm mixing it with the with the with the cabbage. So it's cabbage and collard greens. So we're gonna cook the the collard green first. Okay, so there we go, nice heating up. I'm working on getting another camera, y'all, so y'all can actually see down in this part, okay? Uh, okay. So, I have, because remember, we're cooking the collard greens. Okay. Some of this, some of this, uh, this is vegetables. Um, that I cook, and it's I had it left over, um, boiled down. So I said, you know what, I'm gonna be cooking this today. I could use it in there. 
Okay, so that's just vegetables seasoned up and cooked down. And I'm just tasting the water. Okay, so there we go. This this is the collard green. This is all I got out of my garden, y'all. This is all I got out of my garden. So I'm gonna let this cook first, okay? And then we're gonna um we're gonna add the cabbage. I have the cabbage cut up already too. So so I'm gonna turn this down some because I have it on high. And then we're going to just let this cook. I do have the bacon that we're going to put the bacon back in there, but not yet. I do have the bacon, okay, but we're not putting it back in there yet. Not yet, okay? Mm. All right, y'all. So our collard green has been cooking, um, cooking away here. It hasn't been that long, probably for about 10 minutes. Um. So it's still cooking. We need that to cook before we add the cabbage. What I did off camera was over here, I have a pot of water. This is like four and a half cup of water in my pot with some salt and some um, olive oil. Okay. And so what I'm going to do since it's boiling is add my rice. And I have my rice over here that I've washed three times and drained and this is this might be around four cup of rice um or so i'm gonna use this spoon in here out um so i need it to start boiling again before i turn it down so that's what I'm waiting on. So I'm going to turn it all the way down to low. And then I'm going to put the parchment paper on. And then I'm not going to bother it for about 20 minutes. Okay. I know I have enough uh, water in here to cook this rice. So I won't have, this is jasmine rice. I won't have to bother it. So there it goes, boiling. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it down all the way down. So... Now let's get the lid on it. Okay. And I'm not going to bother this. You can put foil paper. Uh, yeah. So I'm not going to bother it for about 20 minutes. It's not going to burn. It's going to cook. Then it's going to stay there and steam. Okay. And we're going to, this is going to keep cooking. This collard green is going to keep cooking. Remember, it has to be cooked already before you put the, the cabbage in there. A little more water. And we let, we're going to let it cook all the way down. That water I put should be enough to cook it. So we're just going to leave it and let it cook all the way down. Okay. All right, guys. I'll be back when I get ready to put the the rest of the, the bell peppers and the cabbage and I'll be back with that okay all right okay okay y'all we back so the collard green has been cooking cooking away for a while okay I've added water to this pot a couple of times so it just has a little bit of uh, water in the bottom enough for me now to add the cabbage we're gonna add the cabbage and we're going to add the bacon, okay? So, and then we're going to add all that green vegetable, okay? So, let's add the cabbage. And then I'm going to mix that around and add the rest, rest of these here, bell peppers. And then we're going to put the bacon in there. And I'm, I have a half an onion left that I'm going to add to it, okay? Mix this in first. The half an onion on top, okay? Some extra flavor. Okay. Then I'm gonna go on and put this this bacon in there. Okay. All right. I didn't bother it. The only thing I did was come back and turn it from four to two. Okay. I did that a few minutes ago. And there you go. That's your rice. 
and I can turn it off now, so I'm going to turn off the rice. So, oops. So your rice is nice and fluffy. Is see there? Nice and fluffy. So, um, that's good to go. So now all I got to do is just put the lid back on it. It's nice and fluffy. Okay. All right, y'all, we are back, and this cabbage is done, okay? Let me move Mrs. Gingy, Mr. Gingy from over here. So the cabbage and the collard green is done, okay? I'm about to turn it off. The rest of the, the heat is going to finish cooking the cabbage, and you don't want to overdo it, okay? So that's what we're looking like with the collard green and the cabbage. That's what we're looking like, guys. All right. So it's cooked. It's done. It doesn't have a lot of water, which is what I wanted. Okay. I don't want all that fluid in there. So, yeah, that's what we're looking like. It's done. Delicious, actually. Okay. So, um that's what that is looking like that's finished so i'm just gonna cover it it's off the heat so i'm gonna cover it and then rice is done let me get the um i'm gonna have my hubby take the 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 brown stew pork out of the the oven for me all right y'all he coming with the brown stew pork Hot out the oven. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, let me get let me get this spoon I've been using in it. It's done. Oh. Too close, daddy. Okay. All right. This is the pork, y'all. So it's done. It's so soft. Let me show you. you. Cut it with when you could cut it with a um <laughs> with a silicone spoon. You know it's done. Everything is nice and soft. I put carrots in it. The gravy is nice and and gravy in yeah, that gravy. Yeah. So this is done. I did uh take some of the grease off the top of it. But yeah, our brown stew pork is done, and that's what that is looking like. All right, y'all, this will be my first time checking on this chicken, okay? This is the smothered chicken. And this bad boy hot. This will be my, oof, my first time. Oof. Lordy, lordy. Okay. Let's get another spoon. All right, so of the skin. Okay. So I knew it was going to gather more water, more fluid, because it's chicken. And so now what I'm going to do is take the lid off of it and I'm going to drop it down to the bottom rack first, just so we can, some of this fluid, some of the gravy can absorb. Gravy is thick, but you want to drop it down. So we're going to drop it down. Okay. Um, and then we're going to put it back in. You know, I have to taste this gravy to make sure it's still good. Oh, should be, should be. So, mm hmm. Okay, doesn't need anything, nothing at all. All right, so let's get it down. Let's uh, get it back in the foot in the oven. So I'm gonna put it back in the oven with the uncovered. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna I'll put it in the top one. And then I'm 
gonna turn off the bottom one okay y'all uh, so that's what it's looking like now it has a lot of fluid because i had it covered so we're gonna put it back in uncovered and i'm gonna put it on the bottom rack and it's gonna start to some of that water is gonna start to dissolve and the gravy is gonna get even thicker and then i'm gonna put it on the top rack for and turn up turn up the heat just so that the top of the chicken can brown up a little more okay y'all the chicken is out of the oven and this is what it's looking like this chicken came out better than i i, I thought it would because i told y'all i did this will be my first time doing some other chicken and it came out pretty good um it came out pretty pretty doggone good they enjoyed it it was tender it was yummy and they had a whole lot of gravy to i guess bathing but anyway y'all thank you so so much for watching this video um and i hope to see you guys in the next one and i would like to thank all my subscribers out there thank you so so much you guys are making this thing um, happen for me. Thank you so, so much. See you guys in the next video. And please don't forget to share, like, and subscribe to my channel. Um, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye y'all. You're my everything, my guiding light. You fill my